But uh, can I find this in Arlington? Oh, good grief, yes. Oh boy. Uh, let, let me, let's see how long it is. Let's hold okay. it out. Let's this guy this is uh, probably close to five feet. Texas rat snakes are going to be one of the largest snakes that you find in the Metroplex area. <laughs> what the? <laughs> man, get this thing off me, man! Get this thing off me, man! God dang! Right, that we don't necessarily need diversity in this White that House. That's not what I said. Well, but, but let me that just let me just said. let me just tell you what I heard because I don't think you hardly understand. No, because why, I don't want you no, to twist because, my you know, words. A lot of questions to be answered here, Jake, but. Uh... Jake, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, guys. There was just somebody that was peeling out here right in front of the house, and I wanted to... We do have his description. Can we take that? Let's take his description. Okay. This is the guy there, uh, they, wanted, they wanted people in Pennsylvania to be out on the lookout for. He's got... Uh, He's got a nose and some hair that goes like that, and he was uh, he was wearing a hat at the time of this particular particular crime. He's got kind of a chin that comes down to a almost a point. Stands about five feet four inches tall. There it is. Get a good look for yourself. Oh, and now I'm getting word that police actually caught this guy, thanks to the sketch, no doubt. So here's a picture of the real guy <laughs> next to the sketch. That led to his arrest. Where's the pointy chin? It's uncanny, Lisa. <laughs> uh, the, the to the story of a pig that is inspiring others. One pot, <laughs> one pot belly pig has certainly endured his share of problems. Chris P. Bacon was born without the use of his. Viking. <laughs> yeah, you have to read this story. <laughs> we cannot. Oh, my God. <laughs>